Hey guys, so it's like 9.30 at night <laughs> and I'm up because I have a ton of gifts to wrap. <laughs> you don't want to know how many gifts I'm supposed to be wrapping. And I've been working on, like I finished a bunch of them yesterday, but got more to do. So I am up and I'm making a vapor rub. It's a really easy recipe that you can make. Hey Taylor. Hey Tisha. I am not going to bed. I should be, but I'm going to be up wrapping presents. <laughs> what are you guys up to tonight? Hey Brianne. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this really easy vapor. I know like at least 10 people right now that are dealing with some sort of congestion or gunk or fighting some bug that is going around and so I wanted to show you guys an easy way you could make a vapor rub that um, is not as expensive as the ones that you buy off the shelf and it, in my experience more effective also doesn't have some of those additive ingredients that can cause issues and reactions and things uh, personally I have um, like an asthmatic reaction to some of the additives in the off-the-shelf things. So I like to make my own. I just reuse a little baby food jar. You can put it in whatever you want. Um, because I am using essential oils, glass is usually um, better uh, because essential oils can kind of eat through plastic. So um, yeah, I, I have a collection of baby food jars and I use them when I make things. <laughs> So, and if you're someone who's ever gotten one of the sugar scrubs that I make, you may have gotten it in a, a baby food jar because I reuse them a lot. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. All right, so vapor rub. Okay, so this is about half a cup of raw coconut oil. You can use just the regular coconut oil. It doesn't have to be fractionated because with a vapor rub, you don't mind if the coconut oil kind of solidifies a little bit at cooler temperatures, so that's fine. Hey, Jenna. Okay, so you're taking your coconut oil, and all you're going to do is add some essential oils. Now, you know, when you first get some essential oils, uh, keep in mind that when, you, when you're making things, the cost of what you're making is only going to be by how many drops you're using. So with these, you know, it's about 10 to 15 cents a drop. So when you add it up, it's about a few dollars worth in my little container here. So the first one is peppermint. So for the full recipe that you can use on adults, you can do 10 drops of peppermint. But if you're going to be using it on young children, I would say under three, you may want to only do maybe five to seven drops. Now keep in mind, you do have a good amount of coconut oil that's diluting it, so that should help make sure it's not too strong. Um, but, you know, I always am a little more conservative when I'm going to be using it on my little one. So I'm going to actually just do seven drops because I will be using this with Aurora. She's had a little bit of congestion recently. Of course, going to the daycare is always great because there's lots of germs, so my kids' immune systems should be like rock star immune systems. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, uh, Leticia, you could totally borrow some jars. I have a s cupboard full of them. <laughs> so, hey, Kelsey. All right, so I added peppermint, uh, some drops of peppermint into the coconut oil and this is a blend called Raven. I'm using this one. The original recipe that I had found calls for wintergreen um, essential oil but I actually don't have that on hand but the Raven blend one of the main ingredients is wintergreen so I'm going to go ahead and add now again for adults you can have add you know about 10 drops for children about three or four and under you want to be more conservative about maybe five to seven so I'm going to add seven drops of that um, and you know when you're using essential oils you always want to err on the side of caution with children under two so you know you want to do maybe one drop of an essential oil to about 10 drops of like a coconut or olive oil or whatever you have on hand um, to make sure it's not going to be too strong and we always test it on ourselves before we use it on our children to make sure it's not going to um, be too strong but most of these oils when you dilute them it's not a problem I've never had any issues with my kids even using them on my girls when they were under two so and I will yes Brian I'll post the, the recipe in the comments too okay so then I added this this is an 
added, I'm going to post my recipe. I'm adapting the recipe from um, Pepitin. She wrote a book of DIYs, and so I adapted it. I actually add thieves into my vapor rub because of that cinnamon is a vasodilator, so it can help open up the circulatory system in your airways um, and bring you know those lymphatic cells and good immune cells into your respiratory system to help fight whatever you have going on. Um, and also the clove that's in this blend of these is a natural anesthetic, so it has that kind of little bit of numbing effect, so it helps reduce the coughing, spasms, and all of that. So I'm gonna add about seven drops of this because I'm using this this um, on my kids but if you're using it for adult you can add 10 drops some people I know even add like 15 drops for adults so that's kind of up to you depending on what works for you okay so about seven drops of thieves these if you know me thieves is like my favorite if I could only have one essential oil in the whole entire universe it would be thieves because it has saved me so many times from all kinds of germs and craziness so um, and these is actually the one that I use in my breathing roller um, I have asthma and I actually use it to help with my breathing and it makes a huge huge difference so okay and then I actually put a little bit of lemon in there too lemon is great for boosting the immune system so I'm gonna add about five drops of lemon okay and then you can choose, it's kind of up to you, the recommended is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a really good breathing oil, so that's recommended for vapor rubs. Um, there's a couple different versions of eucalyptus. I'm using the eucalyptus radiata because it's just a little bit more gentler for when I'm using it on my kids, but you can use another eucalyptus if you prefer. If you don't have eucalyptus on hand, tea tree is a good substitute. It's actually a cousin of the eucalyptus plant as well, so tea tree is a great substitute if you just don't have eucalyptus. It works pretty well, pretty close to what the eucalyptus does. So, But I am gonna go ahead and add the eucalyptus. Again, about seven drops. And, um, that's it. That's your vapor rub. It's really easy. It's really quick. Um, once upon a time, I used to think to myself, oh, making things myself, mate, that just would take too much time. It really, it doesn't. I mean, this was maybe a minute, but it took longer because I was kind of talking. Um, it's, it's really easy. I keep this on hand. I keep one in my diaper bag. I keep a roller version of it in my purse. Um, it, it works really great. And if you've ever used where you put vapor rub on your feet at night with your socks, you know, or on your kids for breathing, it works the same way. It's really great. It's all natural. Uh, Tisha, you can share the video. You should be able to share it on your page. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Feel free to do that. So, um, and if you would like to get some of these essential oils, guys, please let me know. Um, I am a distributor and I would love to help you get started and get some of these essential oils to be using for your, um, family and for you, uh, to improve your health. So just let me know. And, uh, hey, Teresa, glad to have you. And um, I always say on my videos, like, with Mama MacGyver. So if you guys want to know what, what that means, just let me know. Um, a lot of people have called me Mama MacGyver, a lot of my friends, because they'll be like, oh, this broke, or this happened, or I don't have this ingredient, or whatever. Just all kinds of just everyday kind of issues and, and challenges and um I've, I'm fairly good at coming up with solutions and um, resourceful solutions to everyday things. So we kind of, they kind of penned me as uh, Mama MacGyver. So I've been using that for my YouTube channel and my um, business, my business with uh, Young Living as well. So um, if you want to check out my YouTube page, let me know. I can send the link. I can put the link in the comments too. And um, I do lots of DIY recipes. I do lots of cooking because I love food and I love cooking, especially around the holidays. I have another video I'll be posting soon about some cookie baking. So um, 
So just let me know if you would like to try this or if you want to just come over to my house and give it a try, um, test out any of the oils or ingredients or maybe just come to my house and make some things. I would love to do that. That would be fun, especially around the holidays. I love making things. Speaking of which, I have to get back to present making and present wrapping. So that's what I'm going to be doing this evening for the next hour or so and then hopefully getting to bed soon um send me a comment here and let me know what you are up to this evening or maybe this week if you have something fun going on tomorrow is my three-year-old's first little christmas play and i can't even believe that she is now to that age where she's in school and having plays and doing events and things that's just mind-blowing so I'm excited to um, see her little play tomorrow but hey Jennifer thanks for tuning in hey Denise awesome okay well I'm gonna let you guys go because I know we you're probably going to bed <laughs> if you're not a wrapping presence like me so I hope you guys have an awesome evening and I will talk to you later